Hey everybody, it's April and today I want to talk about how to make Mondays magical. And of course that involves doing a plank. So we're going to start on forearms and switch around a little bit. If you're starting on forearms, wrap your hands around your biceps so you know you have the right distance. Bring your forearms out in front of you. You can interlace your fingers if you like. Pull your shoulders down your back, then lift your upper back, lift your chest, pull in your belly, come up on your toes, shift your weight forward slightly. The timer has begun and then you want to do all of that again. So pressing into the floor again, separating your shoulders, pulling in your belly, tightening up your glutes, keeping your gaze in front of your fingertips or your knuckles if you have your fingers interlaced. Always, always pulling in your belly. So we're already at 20 seconds and that was just from setting up and then setting up again is kind of what you're doing when you go back over everything. 30 seconds. So I, you know, like to talk about Mondays. Monday has become one of my favorite days. I like the opportunity of starting the week off fresh and Monday's the day to do it. So now maybe you have a work schedule. You work through the weekend and you're off on Monday and Tuesday. So maybe your weekend is on Wednesday or your weekday starts on Wednesday. Um, but so you have to, whatever day is your day of starting your new week. That's what you should look at this one minute. You should look at this as your magical opportunity to maybe do some things you didn't do last week that you had been intending to do and it just didn't happen. Or maybe it's just to start something new that you've been intending to start. You know, I have many people who tell me, yeah, I think I'm thinking about planking. I just haven't done it yet. Start this week, start today. <laughs> Make Monday your day that you start planking. And don't be afraid, 1.30. I wonder sometimes if it keeps, if people are afraid to start blanking and that's why they don't do it. Maybe they're afraid they're not going to hold very long, but you know what? The only person who has to know how long you hold your plank is you. You don't have to tell anybody. You don't have to post it. You don't have to share with the world. I mean, it, just start doing it. Hold as long as you can and then hold a little bit longer. And then the next day, try to hold it that same amount of time. Keep doing it. We're at two minutes. I'm going to switch to forearms and I'm going to lift a leg. So, and then at gradually, maybe once a week or every week, you add a little more time to your plank. That's how you're going to add on. You know, you can go to my blog, handstandinggrandma.com. And if you sign up for my, to, or if you subscribe to my blog, you can get a free PDF of how to work up to a five minute plank in five weeks. Now you don't have to do it in five weeks, but 2.30, I'm switching legs. That's just a nice little timetable. I like to put on it. I've seen some online where it's five, uh, five minutes in a month and, and that's good too. You know, you might do that, but I liked giving it five weeks um, so that you add on just a little bit more every week. Oh, there's Riley. Uh, he's making an appearance today. That's really probably him telling me he wants to go out or that's him planking turning his butt kind of toward the camera. <laughs> so we're at three minutes. I'm going to switch to side plank. So going back to making Mondays magical, you know, it really is your attitude that, uh, that influences, that affects your Monday and makes it bad or good. And, you know, you can decide that Monday is going to be a big dud for you. You can hate Mondays or you can approach Monday with a good attitude and say, this is the week I'm going to do great things. This is the first day of my week and I'm going to be happy. 3.30, I'm switching sides. <clears throat> it can be your first day to start planking or maybe it's your day you add on to your plank. So make Monday count. Here's the other thing. If you do start planking or some other form of exercise, you're going to release endorphins that help improve your mood and that's going to make your Monday more magical anyway. So even if, four minutes, I'm switching back to my hands. So even if you start planking and you absolutely hate it while you're doing it, when you're done, you will have released those endorphins and that's going to help with your Monday mood. It will help make your Monday more magical. And that really is true with any form of physical activity. So on your Mondays, that's the day that you really want to get off the couch. 
Get out of your office chair. <laughs> Walk around the office a few times. Make a few laps. Work on your, we're at 430 by the way. <clears throat> Work on your 10,000 steps, which, you know, I don't hit 10,000 every day, but I aim to hit 10,000 every day. And I get at least 5,000. And sometimes I have more. And that's a great thing, just to add that additional, just to put that additional activity into your life makes a difference. So, oh, we're coming up on five minutes. So I'm gonna hold for a few more seconds. If you stopped for a moment, had to come down on your knees, which is all right. See if you can come back up again. Hold with me these last few seconds. It's going to be magical. I'm telling you, you can do it. And here we are, 515. Think also about if you do plank or you do some form of physical activity that you feel good about telling people about. That's also something magical. And it just makes you feel good about yourself. Okay, have a great Monday. See ya.